Hey, there we go. Sorry, clicked on the wrong audio thing and whoop, my head is getting chopped off. All right, hey everyone. Um, so today, or yesterday actually, I uh, on my dev tips list here, I have make a personal URL shortener with Airtable and Netlify functions. That was cool, that was fun, and it was like over an hour long um, of me showing you how I did that, and it was a bit complicated. Uh, and so uh, inspired by that video, Carl Russell um, thought it was pretty cool and thought, hey, what if we um, just have a really simple redirects file, which is built in, a capability built into um, Netlify, and then that can be your URL shortener. And then you just manage it in, in GitHub. And um, actually, Phil had mentioned this, and I'd seen his blog post where he did this um, earlier, and I thought that was pretty cool, but uh, in his blog post, he uses um, Netlify's forms API and a, a custom function to uh, keep it updated. And um, and this, I didn't really wanna keep things updated here. Like right now my workflow is shorten example.com with example, whatever. Like I just enter that in my terminal and poof, I've got the uh, URL on my, um, uh, on my clipboard and I can share it. So it's a really easy. If I had to go to GitHub every time to update this, that'd be annoying. Uh, and this seemed a little complicated adding a bunch of um, like, you had to do identity so that random people couldn't update um, your URLs and stuff. So I, yeah, I wasn't super interested in that, but I thought about it some more and I thought, you know, this really would be really nice if we could do it this simple. And so I built a module to make it simpler. Um, and uh, yeah, um, here it is. It's Netlify Shortener. And I'm gonna show you how to use this thing. Before we use it though, we're gonna do something like super, super simple. So I'm gonna create a new repository. So this is something that anybody in the world could do. You don't have to be good at coding um, or whatever. Uh, you, you're going to need a GitHub account and you'll need a Netlify account. And then um, and you might, if you want to have a custom donate domain, then you'll have to purchase one and you can do that from Netlify. Um, so we'll go ahead and once you have a GitHub account, whatever, you create a new repository and you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say um, short uh, uh, you are, or let's see, Netlify shortener example. You can call it whatever you want. Um, short URLs example for Netlify. Okay, sweet. Well, we can make it public, or if you have a paid account, you can make it private. Um, my URLs uh, typically are public, but I have uh, some things that I don't want everybody to just know about and be able to find on GitHub. And so both of my JS dot, uh, I have two use cases here, JS error .io, um, Eva, woo, and then kcd.im news. Um, so those are my URL shorteners, my, my domain domains for the URL shorteners. And so, um, yeah, both of those have a couple links that I don't want everybody to see. So I make my repository private, uh, but you can make it public if you want to. Um, so we'll, we'll leave it as public. Uh, we don't have to initialize it with the readme or anything else. So we'll just create the repository. And sweet. now uh, we've got all this code stuff or uh, we can just create a new file. So we'll create new file here. We're gonna call this redirects, redirects. And I'm gonna go over here and just copy what he has. Um, and we'll have this be uh, default to google.com. You'll want to have that point to your website or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have a single short URL example and that'll go to HTTPS. Uh, H I don't think HTTPS example.com. Yeah, that works. Sweet. Uh, HTTPS example.com. And then we'll say um, foo and we'll have this go HTTPS colon slash slash example.com slash foo. Uh, and then we'll just get rid of the rest of the stuff. Um, or actually, maybe I'll add a link to the video that I'm currently streaming right now. Because um, I'm going to use this as docs for, um, for stuff. So, and we'll say uh, demo. Okay, so one of the things that the Netlify um, shortener does is uh, formats this stuff for you nicely. 
so you don't have to worry about oh spaces whatever um so we'll just leave it like this and we'll add that later uh, but you don't have to have it like it literally just needs one space that's all that is required um and but it looks a little nicer if there's some more um so yeah let's uh let's go ahead and create this file we'll just commit it boom and that's literally all that we need now we can go to app.netlify.com and you'll need to create an account um, and then when you have that done you click on this new site from git and click on github it'll authenticate you you'll have to uh, configure it so that it um, uses your uh, repositories um, i did that yesterday you can watch that if you are um, unfamiliar with how all that works and then we're just going to uh, copy this uh, so the name of our repository and we'll paste that in there, hit enter, and it should pop up. There should only be one. Um, you click on that. And um, yeah, you leave this as master. You don't need a build command or a published directory or any of the advanced stuff. So don't change anything here. Click deploy site. And poof, we're done. Uh, so now it's going to deploy the site. It should just take a couple seconds. Yeah, deploy it already. And this is where our site is. Now, that's not really a short URL, but we'll fix that later. Uh, so let's go to one of the URLs we wanted, like example. So that'll take us to example.com and then foo. That'll take us to example.com slash foo. Um, and then demo, that'll take us to the video that we're literally um, live streaming right now. Huh. So uh, cool, let's go ahead and we'll go to our site settings now. And we'll change our site name to uh, shorten or shortener. Ah, oh, man. All right, shortener demo. There we go. Sweet. So now you can go uh, shortener demo example, and that'll do the redirect for you. So it's all like totally done for you. And if you want to add a new one, then you can just go here to underscore redirects, click on the pencil to edit the file, and you can add a new one. Um, how about uh, uh, repo? And we'll just have it go to this. Or actually, how about we do this? We'll do um, edit. And then we'll point to this um, URL right here. And here we can even change this to be uh, from example to, um, I don't know, anything else. Example.com changed, hooray. Whatever you want, you can change these things at any time. You can make your changes. And then here, we gotta hurry because it's gonna be really fast. Uh, so yeah, it's been committed. And Netlify has already published it. So now we can go to um shortener demo dot com slash example and we're gonna get change to ray woohoo um and then we'll have shortener demo and then we'll do edit and it'll open us right back into this thing and we can edit things which is that's pretty cool um i hadn't thought about that till just now so um if you're happy with this what what we have today you're happy going like opening up with the browser and navigating here and making manual changes to this file uh with that flow then then you're pretty pretty set uh, and you don't need the netlify shortener uh module um but i'll show you what what's cool about the netlify shortener module and why i'm using it here in a little bit so one other thing um so this is not exactly a shortener demo goodness gracious this is not a short URL, right? Like you want something like kcd.im. That's a short URL, right? So if you want to have a custom domain, then you can go to uh, overview uh, domain settings and you can add a custom domain and we could say la.io or I don't know, um, whatever you want it to be. It's probably not available. Oh yeah, it already has an owner. Uh, here, let's do blah, 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 whatever. It needs to be something uh, that is available and it says, oh, hey, you get $10.99 for the first year and then it'll auto renew $14.99. Cool, so you add a payment method, you register it, and then you can start going to your short URL example or whatever you're gonna be doing, um, whatever that URL is. So that's cool. Um, I already have JSR and kcd.im set up here. I didn't buy the, uh, those domains through Netlify. I use iwantmyname.com. Been using them for years and I love it. They're great, but uh, yeah, you feel free to use uh, use Netlify to do uh, your domain stuff. So from there, that's all that you need to do. You literally just a simple repository on GitHub that has this file. You wire things up with Netlify and you're done. It's super cool. Okay, so now let's make this even better. Um, I'm going to 
um, come in here. And now, now it's probably a good idea to have some experience coding um, because yeah, this is gonna take a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm going to get clone this right here. I'll copy that. And that's gonna pop on my desktop and I'll go to Netlify shortener example. And I'll open up my editor. Da -da -da -da. And we have our redirects right there. So remember how I said, yeah, like I don't wanna manage formatting that. That's one of the reasons that you might consider doing what I'm uh, gonna show you using the Netlify shortener module. Um, another reason I will show you here in a bit. So um, yeah, whoops. So we're going to npm init y. That will just automatically answer yes to all the questions that they ask. And I have my npm configured so that it will like have my author and license and whatever. Um, so then in here, I'm or not in here, I'm gonna now run npm install as a dev dependency netlify shortener. Okay, so that's gonna add that to my node modules. And in my node modules in the bin, I have Netlify shortener. So that is what we're gonna be using uh, to do a couple of things. So if I go in here, I'm going to add a script called shorten Netlify shortener. And that's all I need to do. Okay, so what does that do for me? Now, if I run, um, let's actually, we'll add all this stuff, commit, um, add Netlify shortener. Oh, snap. Okay. Um, get reset. Ah, oh, man. Get reset. Soft. Ed. Go back in time just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to check out or, or reset node modules. Cool. Okay. One other thing we're going to need. Uh, I don't want to commit my node modules. So we're going to add a git ignore to ignore node. Um, yeah, modules. Okay, cool. Now we can add all the things and I'll rerun that commit at Netlify shortener. Okay, cool. So now um, I'm going to run npm run shorten and that um, commits formatted links. So what it actually does is it formats my links and then it commits them and pushes them instantly. So if I look at redirects, it's all nice and formatted, sweet. Now, another thing I can do is npm run shorten, and I could say https colon slash slash example.com from CLI, CLI. And that is going to add a new entry at the top of my redirects. It's going to commit it, and it's going to push it. And um, yeah, and then instantly it's available um, because Netlify is so fast. We go to our deploys, and there it is. Nice, really fast, right? Okay, so um, you'll notice one thing that it's doing here is it has this HTTPS whatever nonsense. So that actually is happening, or it's it's showing me that because I didn't update or, or add a base URL here. So my base URL for my shortener is uh, this thing. I'll copy this and we'll paste that in there. And now, um, if I run npm run shorten um, https google.com go, then it's going to do all of that stuff over again. So it adds go to my redirects and formats it all nice and stuff. And then, and it commits that. And then at the end here, it says that has been uh, copied to your clipboard. Okay, so we paste that. We get a double slash here. What's going on? That should not happen. Okay, so there's a bug. I'll fix that. Um, yeah, total bummer. I know exactly what the problem is. Here, let me see if I'll, I'll just fix it while you're watching just for fun. Um, it's actually probably a really quick and easy fix. I'll just vim right in here. Vim code Netlify shortener um, source index. And it's right there. The short has the slash already. Git commit, oh, here, we're gonna need to CD into there. Netlify shortener, git diff, git commit, fix link thing, uh, whoop. Um, link clipboard 
thing. Okay. And then we'll push. And that, that will release. And so by the time you actually use this thing, it, it should be working properly. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, another thing that it'll do is it'll generate a um, random short URL for you. And so if, um, if you don't want to think about what the, the short URL version should be, then you can just say npm run shorten um, google.com and uh, then it generates a random one for you. And yeah, then that'll be copied to your clipboard and you can go. Um, and whoops, wow, no way. I, I just popped it up and it was already ready. Now if I had already deployed it, that's just out of this world, so cool. So um, yeah, so it's very fast. So let's see, there was another thing I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, so what I do is I have um, a uh, alias set on my computer so that I can open up any terminal and just execute the command shorten and then type it in and it'll do, um, uh, it'll actually run that shorten command um, in my, uh, uh, my KCD IM repo. So I can show you what that looks like. Shorten. Um, well, actually, we'll go to my bash profile. So however you need to do this on, on your system, I use bash profile, but we've got, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Shorten right here. So I push D so I can pop D at the end. Whoa. Yeah, so I uh, pop D at the end here so that I can get back to where I was before. And I run shorten with the first and second arguments. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. So um, mostly the reason that I wanted to build this module was so that I could have a script uh, run so I could automatically update the redirects file without having to manually do that. And, um, and it also formats it, which is nice too. So um, I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to, to show you. This is like way easier. Um, so if you want to, you can use Netlify shortener. Whoop. Um, and yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. I have 100% code coverage. Ha. Um, just on the utilities files. I ignore the, the main binary file. But yeah, so this explains you, you make your redirects file, you make updates to your package JSON, and then you can run these things. Um, so questions about analytics, uh, if you, I don't think Netlify has analytics for people who are hitting their CDN, at least none that you can see. So if you want to see those analytics, you can set up Cloudflare in front of your domain, and I'm pretty sure you can get analytics that way. Um, that was actually a, a hard requirement for me before, because I, I liked seeing those analytics, but I've decided it's not worth it. Um, so I'm not, um, I don't care. Um, keeping your links private, yep, just put it in a private repo, and Netlify doesn't even charge anything for that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so that's it for me. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and you have an even better one from now on, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you later.